Especially since it's coming on winter time. Have you seen Israel? Well, ain't he sleeping? No, his bed's empty. Well, your pa's gone too, so you can be sure there's some place together. Oh, he's probably just looking after that old turkey of his. Yeah, and your pa's out there nursing that mule. Well, you go round him up, Mima, while I fix breakfast. All right, Pa. Well, I better go along too. He'll be wanting some feed for that long-eared critter. <laughs> and a boastful tongue. You kept your mouth shut, you'd have been sitting down to breakfast right now, instead of out here the likely target of a mess of aborigine. And you may be foolish. Your heart may be in the right place, but your feet are pointing in the wrong direction. There's only a fool going to a hostile heathen's camp. In other words, Timothy, it's time to join the Arabs and fold your tent and silently steal away. Grandpa! Grandpa! All my sins are coming home to roost. Grandpa! I'm sure I'm glad you shot the sacred breast. Why, I never caught up with you. You forgot these, your bag of tricks. You might need them in Gabriel's camp. <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you, lad, very thoughtful. That's where you're going, isn't it, Grandpa? Why, of course, lad, of course. That's where I'm going. Like I promised, Timothy Bryan never gives his word in vain. But you better go on home now, lad. This is a mission for a grown man. And contrary to some opinion, that's what your grandpa really is. So, hail and farewell. Grandpa! You're going the wrong way. Gabriel's camp is that way. Well, how do you like that? How could I make a foolish mistake like that? You know something, lad? What? In this business, a man could get killed. Let's both go home. Something tells me we're too late now. That is, to go home. What you gonna do, Grandpa? And when in doubt, you put your best foot forward. 
Well, you stay right here, lad. And whatever you do, don't run. Where's Gabriel? Well, come on. Can't any of you talk? Gabriel, not here. Well, where is he? I take you to him. Grandpa! 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 Grandpa, do something! Well, it's about time you were getting back. Everything's getting cold. Oh, come on, sit down, sit down. Well, where's Israel? Well, we couldn't find him, Ma. He couldn't find your pawn either. They just can't disappear. They're probably visiting somebody. They certainly wouldn't go outside with this Indian trouble. He wouldn't, would he? I mean, my father's always talking, but he never goes through with things. And he certainly wouldn't take Israel along. He wouldn't, would he, Cincinnatus? Would he? Doggone, Becky, I, I just don't know what to believe. You can't be too sure of anything when it comes to that boy and that old man. Many a mile to find you. And you know why? I came to invite you to a banquet, a feast in honor of this holiday of ours, this Thanksgiving. We want you all to come and break bread with us. In Boonesboro. Aye, you'll all be more than welcome. <laughs> we go to Boonesboro. Good but not to make feast, to make war. Our medicine man, Great Cloud here, says our medicine is good. Our magic is strong. Today we attack. Magic, you say? You think his magic's strong? Mine is stronger. Watch! <laughs> out of nothing, I make fire. Put it out again. Cloud's magic is weak, mine's strong. Great Cloud's magic is not good, mine is great. So listen to me. Let's have a feast, not a war. I do not listen to magic. Magic is for children and old women, not for men. Take him away. Put him in a lodge. Did you hear? Take them away. Get your weapons. Tell the young men we go to Boonesboro. Wait, Gabriel, wait. Let me speak with the gods. You have already spoken to them. Their magic is strong. Maybe it is time to wait. Maybe it's time to make friends. Gray Cloud and the Pale Face are like two old women. I say it is time to get rid of all the Pale Faces, oh, now and forever. Oh. There has been too much fighting. Up to now, Gabriel has won. But from now on, I'm not sure. 
Give me time to speak with the gods. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe this is a warning. We have seen great magic here. Go sit with the women, you old man. You heard the pale face speak of their Thanksgiving day? When they are feasting in Boonesboro, we will attack. I, Gabriel, have spoken. All those who do not agree will walk away. I walk away. I guess Gable didn't think much of your magic, Grandpa. A shameful way to treat a man who's played before the crowned heads of Europe. Gabriel didn't really give you those clothes, did he, Grandpa? Dad, it was a half-truth, lad. They were given to me by a man named Gabriel. Gabriel Schwartz. He owns a second-hand store in Philadelphia. Well, it appears to me that right now would be a very good time for some marching music. Marching music? What for? Well, why not? It's as good as whistling in the dark, isn't it? I am whistling in the dark. Just fine. How much further, Daniel? Oh, about 10 miles to Bloomsburg. It's fine Thanksgiving. We lost a wagon load of supplies. Gabriel's on the warpath. And we're running ourselves to death. What do we have to be thankful for? We're still alive, aren't we? To me, that's a powerful lot to be thankful for. Now, come on. Start running. And so. A Jim Dandy. I learned that from Frederick the Great of Prussia. The Emperor himself taught it to me. You scared, lad? Play me an Irish tune, Grandpa. Let them Indians know we're Irish. Now, why didn't I think of that? An Irish jig. That ought to scare the moccasins off anybody. Grandpa? Well, what do you know? The power of sweet music. I've got him under a spell. <laughs> no braves, Grandpa. Never question America, lad. Grab on and follow, hmm? I should have known it was all too good to be true. Here, 
fire stick. Make it burn. What? Let flame go up in air. Tricks, is that what you heathens want? With a man and a boy's life in the balance? Tricks? Show us fire. Go on, Grandpa. Do it. Show him. Huh? What the customer wants, the customer gets. I don't quite know what this is all about, lad, but if tricks will keep us alive, it's tricks they'll get. And now, friends, I want you to observe what I have here. A coin, an ordinary coin. I want you to observe a few feats of prestidigitation. You have great magic. I, Great Cloud, medicine man of the Choctaws, tell you this. You have great magic. If only you could use magic to bring peace. Peace? What's going on here? Where is everybody? Where's Gabriel, the brave? They have gone to war. To attack Boonesboro? Blood will be spilt tonight. Songs for the dead will be sung tonight. Ma's there, and Jemima, and Cincinnati, and maybe even Pa. No one has the magic to bring peace and stop war. That is my sorrow. The gods do not want war. They want peace. They cry for peace. Go. You are free. You and little brave. Let there be some who do not die in this war. No, wait, friend, wait. Maybe I have the magic to stop war. Huh? Who knows where a man's magic begins and ends? Maybe that's what all these years have been about. All my wandering and peddling and making up stories and doing tricks. Maybe now I really have the magic. And the chance to do something really worthwhile. Who knows? Are you all right, Grandpa? I'm fine, lad. I'm better and finer than I've ever been. Will you all follow me? I'll show you an old man's magic. Greater magic than he's ever shown before. No crowned heads of Europe ever saw this magic. Will you follow? To peace. Aye, to peace. Go. We follow. Follow. Oh. Grab a hold, lad. I'm about to cover myself with glory. Forward, friends. Forward to peace, and maybe to the stopping of this war. Wings that be flying. It's way short. Music. I must be sick, but I swear I hear music. Well, there's your music. Gabriel's still after us. Come on. Get in. Man of war! Come on, run behind us! Come on! Oh, 
Get up on the wall! Dan! Oh, Dan! Well, happy Thanksgiving to you, Daniel. What's going on Please. here? Well, we got company. I invited all these lovely Choctaws for a feast on this lovely Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, peace, Daniel. It's wonderful. Peace? Are you out of your mind? Gabriel's on the warpath. That's him and his braves right now. That's the magic of it. Don't you see? That's the magic of it. Do you think he'd attack and start a war with all his own people inside here? Huh? <laughs> 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 People. And my children are with them. And my woman. Right. Everybody's family's in there. It's a grand occasion. Well, Gabriel attacked us while your people are our guests. Will you spill the blood of your own family? You captured them. No, Gabriel. What do you tell them, Tim? This is your doing. Well, they've come as guests to a feast, Gabriel. A feast of peace and goodwill. The women and children don't want war. They want friendship. That's why they've come. How will Gabriel come? Oh, uh, it's a trick! What <laughs> trick or magic? What's the difference so long as it ends a war? What do you say, Gabriel? Will you sit down to a Thanksgiving feast with us? Will you bury that war club? You don't want to attack your people and your friends. I do not make war or, or kill the people I love. We'll feast at your table. The son of the gods, great man. Sure he is. With very great magic. <clears throat> it's only a gift, brother. It's only a gift. Well, it's a gift worth having on this Thanksgiving day. Here we are enjoying ourselves instead of fighting. And it all planned this way, didn't you, Tim? No, uh, well, I can't say that I can take all the credit for it. I, I figure somebody else might have done a little planning, too. <laughs> Nam? Well, that means gobbler in Indian. You stay next to me, and you'll live to see lots of Thanksgivings. <laughs> Oh. 